The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore, an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, and not a lover of money. This is the second week of preparation. You're in line behind somebody and there's a delay and you start talking to them, whatever it is, and they say, what do you do? And I say, I'm a pastor. And people will say something like, yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I believe in God and stuff. And so it's kind of the operative definition of what it means to have faith is to believe in God and stuff. But as you know and have heard before, and it sounds like a trite expression, but it's true, which is just that uh, the devil believes uh, it's not hard for the devil to believe because the devil knows, right? The demons believe. They believe in God and stuff. It just so happens that it is a difference that makes no difference in their life. See, faith is distinct and different from belief. Faith is an orientation towards the belief that you have. And we're not saved, according to the Bible, by our belief. We're not saved because we believe in God and stuff. It's not that God, God, God doesn't have any difficulty when someone says I believe in God and stuff he doesn't go oh that is really moving that is really touching Romans 1 says that that's pretty basic in fact that all of us just by looking around and seeing what we see ought to at least come to that basic understanding of things but what what we are saved by is not our belief it's not that we believe in God and stuff it's not even that we believe in Jesus and stuff the church settled that early in its history uh, when it repudiated the group called the Gnostics the Gnostics believed that we were saved by some kind of special knowledge, some kind of a, a prayer that we could pray. or uh, They actually had to, certain things that you had to memorize for various stages of your journey as your soul left its body and returned home. They thought matter was evil and, and spirit was good. And so uh, we have a very Gnostic orientation, unfortunately, towards faith today. We believe that if we know and say certain prayers at certain points in our life, then that means that we'll be saved. But that's not what the Bible teaches. We're not saved by our belief as a form of knowledge or ability to pray a certain prayer. We know we're not saved by our works. Some people misinterpret this, however, and this is what I want to talk about a little bit more today because uh, they, they become so concerned by the idea that we might think uh, that uh, by growing and changing in Christ that we're showing that we don't actually have the kind of faith in God uh, that we know that uh, God isn't concerned about our behavior at all. That's a wrong understanding of being saved by faith because God is concerned about our behavior because our behavior shows whether or not we actually have faith at all. Faith is a, defined as an orientation towards our belief. If it is that you can have faith and it makes no difference in your life, then you really have to question what you mean by faith because you truly don't have it. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? For more information on the .w discipleship groups, visit dotheword.org. Hear the word. Do the word. .w.